Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, welcome to the Bulldog Show. Biden documents, you know, Joe Biden was so upset uh, when they found out about these documents at Mar-a-Lago that Donald Trump had, which, by the way, do you know a president has the power to declassify documents? You know who doesn't have the power to declassify documents? Joe Biden and the vice president doesn't have it. I mean, you look at all the, the serial comments that they're showing on the Fox News and others of all the things that they said about these documents being found in Mar-a-Lago. Now... We have the same thing happen to good old Joe Biden, poetic justice. He finally said, well, he doesn't know what's in them. He doesn't know how they got there. He'll cooperate fully. Ah, uh -huh. see, it's, it's no really big deal when it's Joe, but they raid President Trump's home. It's unbelievable. All airlines have been grounded till 9 a.m. I don't know if the grounding is over or not. It's a little bit after 9 a.m. when I'm recording this show. Uh, FAA major problems in their system. Wow, pretty scary. The Biden Center, that same place where we found these documents, you can't make this up at University of Penn, received 54.6 million in an anonymous Chinese donations. I, I swear to goodness, starting with Obama, we've allowed China to do whatever the hell they want in this country. And all politicians are for sale. It's, it's sickening. Sickening. Meanwhile, the House has created a new China committee. Long overdue. I like that. A whole committee dealing with China. The sewer rats are scattering. Why? Because the House has now got investigative power and they're going to use that investigative power to investigate all this crap and boy, you got Adam Schiff and all, you why, they're all going to scatter. The sewer rats are going to scatter all over the place. Go get them. That's what we need to go get them. The House has uh, passed a bill that requires, or going to abolish the IRS, or going to pass a bill to abolish the IRS, get rid of all their agents. I think we have to have a, a revenue agency of some type. I don't know what their plan is. I haven't looked at it yet, but we'll see. Gas stoves. They're now going after gas stoves. And the whole, same time they're going after gas stoves, Guess who's cooking off a gas stove? Chill. <laughs> Nothing safe. Everything kills you, right? Oh, oh, but the vax doesn't cause anybody a heart attack. Uh, Mayorkas, articles of impeachment have been filed against this jack wagon. You jack wagon? Man, this guy is evil. But you know who he works for? Joe Biden. The Lord, they're drug cartel. He's the underboss on the drug cartel. Golden Globes, I didn't watch it. I hope you didn't watch him either. These shows just make me sick. Guess who made an appearance by video? Zelensky. Last but not least, they say Americans are becoming more and more concerned about our national debt. Wow, what took so long? This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day. Next up, local news. <music> Ladies and gentlemen, American Jerry and Bulldog Nation, welcome to Bulldog Local News. Story, which by the way, I guess, is Senator Mitch McConnell. Uh, Senator McConnell rules the Republican State Party. And what did they just recently did? Accepted $1 million from Pfizer for the building fund of the Kentucky State Republican Party. What else has he done? He's worked with Joe Biden on the omnibus bill, the infrastructure bill, gun regulation, you name it. He's been censored by over 20 counties in the state of Kentucky, Republican Party censoring him in these counties. And recently he spoke to the legis Republican legislature a day or so ago in the Kentucky Chamber of Commerce. And what was his message? 2022 midterms was all Trump's fault. Ukraine, the number one issue. On and on and on. I understand that the more conservative Republican legislators weren't happy with his message at all. Mitch McConnell, I'm on him like green on grass. And the other message that I hear is he's at war with all the Republican senators that voted against him. He's at war with anybody that opposes him. So guess what that means, folks? That means I'm at war with Mitch McConnell. I am running for Republican governor in the state of Kentucky. And my, one of my number one issues is I am against Mitch McConnell.
He is the most unliked Republican office holder in our state. His poll numbers are awful. And he's going to use all his power. Just think about how bad he is, how corrupt he is. China, on and on and on and on. You know, and you know what? Nobody says anything because they're cowards. They're chicken, not me. Mitch McConnell is a big problem for the state of Kentucky. He's a big problem for the people of Kentucky. He's a big problem for the people of the United States of America. He is part of the problem as much as anybody else in Washington, D.C. How did our national debt get to where it is? Look at all the problems in this country. And he wants to shake hands and be old pals with Joe Biden. I warned you, can you imagine what really goes on behind the scenes with him and his good buddy Joe Biden? Trump's right, he's a scumbag. All right, long crime. Cincinnati police are searching for 35-year-old Joshua Revels in connection to a College Hill homicide. Revels shot and killed James Witherspoon on West Galbraith Road on December of 2022. Revels has a star tattoo on his neck and should be considered armed and dangerous. Mike and Heather Krismer pulled into their Northgate driveway Monday and saw two people sneaking around inside. The couple jumped out of their vehicle rushed inside and wrestled a male and female intruder to the ground. The couple held the suspects down until police arrived to arrest them. They're brave. Mike took a blow to the head, but it's doing okay. In local news, a 17-year-old Blaze Jacobs passed away Tuesday morning after suffering cardiac arrest activity in school. The high school junior was transported to hospital through medical emergency, but the teen did not make it. Counselors will be available at the school for student staff report. Do you know what the national news media, if you... Google and you just stay on the corrupt government controlled sites. They're saying that all the recent young people having heart attacks is due to high blood pressure, obesity, blah, blah, blah. They don't mention the max. They don't mention the max. Just like that Air Force, well, you know, great shape, Air Force Academy football player on the way to school. Heart attack, cardiac arrest. Damar Hamlin, cardiac arrest. The increases, and by the way, obesity's been around with young people for a while now, decades. That's not the reason. It's the max. The city of Cincinnati is suing the owners of Williamsburg Apartment Complex on West Galbraith Road. Many of the 1,000 renters have expressed concerns about the horrible conditions of the facilities. Ongoing reports of flooding, lack of heat, and rodent infestations have the city taking action. Hamilton County Sheriff Jermaine McGuffey is doing what she can to get a current cadet requirement banished. One obstacle every cadet faces is a fitness test that involves proper push-ups, sit-ups, and a 1.5 mile run. <laughs> a cadet can put in 740 hours of training, then be blocked from the final exam with a failing fitness test. Well, I understand that, but can we just have some people who are fit? Kentucky State News. Two Kentucky school boards have joined a lawsuit directed towards the Kentucky Department of Education. The lawsuit hopes to block the adoption of House Bill 9 that provides funding for a charter schools. The bill lays out requirements for public schools to release locally raised tax dollars to charter schools. Kentucky is about to receive over $840 million in settlements from the opiate crisis. Large pharmacies like CVS and Walmart will pay the massive settlement for their involvement in the crisis. But at the same time, we take a million dollars from Pfizer. The Kentucky State Republican Party does. In Ohio State news, one of the good things that may have come out of DeMar Hamlin's football emergencies awareness, multiple organizations across the country have adopted an on-site defibrillator policy. The state of Ohio has reintroduced a bill that would require the device in all schools. And in sports, Bengals attended sword this year. Yay, 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 yay. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day. Stay tuned next for World News with Jamie Spinley. Hello folks, this is Bulldog TV World News, today's headlines. All US domestic flights have been grounded for several hours because of a glitch with a flight control system. The FAA says there is a problem with a system that alerts pilots to potential hazards on flight routes. Multi-million dollar beach homes battered by winds, cars swallowed up by sinkholes, and over a dozen people killed after weeks of extreme storms. Many Californians are wondering when it will end. Ukrainian troops will receive training 
on the Patriot missile system in the United States. Of Oklahoma, around 100 soldiers will arrive from Ukraine as soon as next week. Six people have been injured, with one in critical condition, after a stabbing at Paris's International Garde du Nord station earlier Wednesday morning. The suspected attacker was shot three times and taken to the hospital. Until tomorrow, take care and remember, every dog has its day.